Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College, Wednesdays and Sundays. You can always make a date um, with us. I'm bringing to you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And, and this, this, this morning, i like to capture my thoughts in this with uh, distances of denial. Sometimes we need to understand that God's word is a two-edged sword. That means that's ability to cut both ways, a two-edged sword. That means, that's what the Bible says in Hebrews. For the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. As any two-edged sword, then appears in even to a dividing asunder, this way and that way. The Bible says here a little, there a little. So line upon line, precept upon precept. So here, it cuts here a little and cuts there. So a two-edged sword, that means it's, 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 it has two dimensions to it. It's more than just one dimension. So this morning, I'd like to uh, take another look at, at uh, something that we all know, that we all, you know, um, uh, we know. Uh, I'm talking about the denial of, 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 of Peter. Uh, have you read Matthew 26? Uh, in, in Matthew chapter 26, from verse 69 to uh, 75, I think. You, you remember when Peter was asked, you know, and Jesus said, you know, Three times you are going to deny me, and Peter said, "I'm not going to deny you." Now everybody looks at that, at that situation. I mean, through the eyeglasses of sorrow or uh, kind of eyebrows raised, um, eyebrows raised at Peter, like, "Hey, Peter, no, no. I mean, this is what you can do." And so Peter doesn't receive a, a fair, a fair look, which is right. I mean, and 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 that's right. I mean, uh, the. When your friend needs you most, that's when you deny him. That's, that's a very dangerous thing. But I'm looking at the other side of the coin. And the other side of the coin is I'm looking at the denial. Now look at it. First time somebody came and said to Peter, are you not one of them? He said, no, I am not. Then the Bible says the second time somebody came and somebody said, no, surely you are one of them. And he said, no, 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 I'm not. But then the third time uh, a little girl came, a maid came and said, no, surely you are one of them. You talk like them. And Peter's denial was very, very vehement. The Bible said Peter swore. Now you look at it. First time, I don't know him. Second time, more strong, I don't know him. Third time, Peter said, I do not know him, and he moved away. Sometimes some people, something is wrong. And it is not enough to say that this is wrong. You need to distance yourself from that wrong. That's what I'm talking about. It is not enough just to say, oh, uh, uh, th this is very wrong, and this thing. No, it is not enough. Sometimes you need to distance yourself from that wrong, lest it be also imputed to you. Because show me your friend, and I'll show you your character. Sometimes when something is wrong, you need to distance yourself from it. But that's what happens. You need to, the, the, the Bible, Peter moved away. Even though he moved away in sadness because he had denied him, he knew that what he was doing was wrong. But it's a principle of life. You need to move away from it. Because if something is wrong, it is wrong. And you're fellowshipping around that wrong, you get it, gives it a sense of endorsement, gives it a sense of applause, gives it a sense of admiration, gives it a sense of, yes, you're doing the right thing, and encouragement. But the Bible said, Peter, move the way. So you to move away from what you think it's wrong. So that people will not associate you with what is wrong. I thought people were, well, but you know, no, if it is wrong, it's wrong. Move away from it. Move away from the people involved in it. Let them know that you are distancing yourself as a protest to what they are doing. But if you, if you, if you pussy foot around it and try to make it look as if it is, listen, that's a very big mistake. Because that, the people involved in it might read it as an endorsement. So this is the other side of Peter's this thing. I'm sure you'd be saying, 
oh wow, where is this coming from? It's the truth of life. When something is wrong, don't just sit around it and say, this is wrong. And say, I, mean, I knew it was wrong. Move away from me. And let the people involved in the wrong know that your disassociation is because you don't want to be part of it. You know what? It's not enough to walk in denial sometimes of a situation that is bad. But sometimes you need to distance yourself from it. The distances of denial. See you the next time.